welcome back to Unbox O'Clock. I would first like to apologize for the delay in videos. My life has been a series of more downs than ups. Hopefully it'll calm down now though and my luck will change. <laughs> now, I promise I haven't been being lazy. I've been working on video ideas, trying to figure out what I can record that would be interesting and entertaining for everyone. I have one I'm currently working on as we speak. I'm planning out the script and everything. It's going to be kind of like my update video, but with colored doodles, and it's going to be sort of this silly little rants kind of thing I've been wanting to make about my job. It's going to take a while because that update video, you guys wouldn't believe the doodles took at least two hours because I just didn't know what to draw. But I don't know, it might be different this time around. You guys didn't come here for that, though. You came for an unboxing slash review. So let's get started. Here we have a pop figure by Funko. Now, I usually don't go for the Funko figures just because I feel they're all too similar in design. Not to say that I dislike Funko or anything. I think they make great toys. I just wish they'd go for more variety with the face and the body with this line. I usually only get these if their design really stands out to me. Or, like, it's a character that I really, really want. And Little Gwen's design stood out to me like crazy. I don't know much about Gwen, seeing as how she's so new to the comic book universe. But this is what her origin is as stated as on Comic Vine. Gwenpool came from a universe where all the Marvel stories are real comic books. Her background is, as of yet, unknown. It is, however, known that Gwenpool got transported into the real Marvel Universe by unknown means. Now she lives in the world and meets the heroes she only read about in her own world. She's a nerd getting to live out her dream is what I got from it. I know she's meant more of a joke character as far as I can tell. But I'd love to see her get flushed out and see where they could take her. She actually seems very interesting to me. I think if they really took their time with her, she'd be a very unique and interesting character. Now, I do have one issue, and that's with her paint job. Her thigh and her hand are missing a couple. They're just tiny, like, black spots. But, like, I feel for $10, the paint job could be done a little more neatly. Um, overall, though, I'm actually very happy with it. I didn't know she was going to be a bobblehead. I thought that was a really cute little feature. And I, I jiggled her around a lot in this video because I wanted to see how strong the bobblehead actually was. I, it's really good, actually. I'm very happy with it. Well, that's all from me today. I hope to get more interesting Funko figures soon. I'm, again, I'm sorry about the delay. I will try to make sure it doesn't happen again. But that's all I have for today, and I'll see you guys later.